The mission of the devil in humanity is to kill, steal, and destroy. As believers, we must be vigilant and alert in order to avoid falling prey to the devil's schemes. Unfortunately, there are signs that indicate that the enemy is winning in our lives. Here are five signs to look out for. 1. Pride Pride is a destructive force that can slowly creep into our lives without us even realizing it. It can be a subtle trap set by the enemy to pull us away from the Lord and towards our own selfish desires. The Bible instructs us to humble ourselves before the Lord, but pride can make us believe that we are self-sufficient and don't need God. It can cause us to walk with our chests high, looking at our achievements and disregarding the Lord. When this happens, we are no longer walking in the path of God, but rather taking after the devil. Pride can manifest itself in many different ways. It can lead us to become arrogant and think that we are better than others. It can cause us to put our own interests ahead of others, leading to a lack of compassion and empathy. It can also cause us to focus solely on our own success and ignore the needs of those around us. The end result of pride is always the same. A life that is disconnected from the Lord and filled with emptiness and loneliness. The problem with pride is that it is often disguised as confidence or self-assuredness. We may believe that we are simply being strong and independent, but in reality, we are turning away from the Lord and towards our own selfish desires. This is why it is so important to recognize the signs of pride in our lives and take action to combat it. To combat pride, we need to pray and humble ourselves before the Lord, revealing our desperate need for Him. This means acknowledging our weaknesses and admitting that we cannot do anything without His help. It also means recognizing that everything we have and everything we are comes from God and giving Him the credit and glory that He deserves. 2. Compromising your faith. As we navigate through life, it's not uncommon to feel pressure to conform to the ways of the world. In a world that seems to be becoming increasingly lawless, it's easy to get caught up in the celebration of sin and immoral behavior. But as followers of Jesus Christ, we must not allow ourselves to be swayed by the multitude that's doing evil. We must remain steadfast in our faith, even when it feels like everyone else is giving in. One of the most significant signs that the enemy is winning in our lives is if we find ourselves compromising our faith. When we allow ourselves to be influenced by the world's ways, we open the door to the enemy's attacks. The devil is always waiting for an opportunity to gain a foothold in our lives, and compromise is one of his favorite ways to do it. When we begin to join the world in immorality or become unfaithful in our place of work, we are giving him the upper hand. Compromising our faith can take many forms. It can be as subtle as participating in conversations that go against our beliefs, or as overt as engaging in sinful behavior. Regardless of the form it takes, compromising our faith is dangerous because it leads us further away from God and closer to the enemy's influence. So how do we stand firm in our faith when the world around us is falling apart? The answer lies in the Bible. In Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, we're told to put on the full armor of God so that we can stand against the devil's schemes. This armor includes truth, righteousness, the gospel of peace, faith, salvation, and the word of God. When we have this armor in place, we can resist the temptations of the world and remain faithful to God. We must also recognize that standing firm in our faith isn't always easy. There will be times when we feel like giving in, and it's during those times that we must rely on God's strength and not our own. We must trust that God is always with us, even when it feels like the enemy is winning. 3. Lack of Holiness Living a holy life is a call to action for all followers of faith. It is a challenge to stand out and be different in a world that often embraces conformity and seeks to extinguish the light of God. Holiness is not just a concept or a religious doctrine. It is a lifestyle choice that requires sacrifice, commitment, and discipline. 
For those who believe in the teachings of the Bible, holiness is not an optional pursuit. It is a necessary aspect of our faith and our relationship with God. The Apostle Peter wrote, But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. 1 Peter 1 15-16 This commandment is not just for a select few, but for all believers. It is a call to live a life set apart for God, to be different from the world and to be holy as He is holy. Living a holy life requires us to make difficult choices and to face the consequences of those choices. It means rejecting the sinful desires of our flesh and embracing the transformative power of the Holy Spirit. It means rejecting the values and standards of the world and embracing the truth of God's word. This is not an easy path, and it often requires us to stand up and sometimes look strange in the eyes of the world. But it is a path that leads to a deeper relationship with God, greater joy and peace, and the assurance of eternal life. 4. Sinful Habits Sinful habits can be seen as a sign that the enemy, or the devil, is winning the battle for our souls. These habits can take many forms, ranging from addiction to substances like alcohol and drugs, to more insidious and subtle vices like anger, lust, and greed. Regardless of their form, all sinful habits have one thing in common. They lead us away from God and toward darkness and despair. It can be all too easy to become ensnared in these habits, especially when they provide momentary comfort or pleasure. But over time, the effects of sin only serve to rob us of the joy and peace that comes from a close relationship with God. The devil uses these habits as traps, drawing us further away from the light and deeper into the shadows. However, it is important to remember that no one is beyond redemption. With God's help and guidance, we can break free from the chains of sin and reclaim our lives. This requires us to take our habits seriously, recognizing that they are not just harmless vices, but powerful forces that can either lead us closer to God or pull us away from Him. One of the first steps in breaking free from sinful habits is to acknowledge them for what they are. This requires us to be honest with ourselves admitting that we are engaging in behaviors that are harmful to ourselves and others. We must recognize that these habits are not simply the result of personal weakness or lack of willpower, but rather the influence of the devil himself. Once we have acknowledged our habits, we must seek help and guidance from God. This can be done through prayer, Bible study, and attending church services. We must surrender ourselves to God and ask Him to help us break free from our sinful ways. This is not always an easy process, but with His help and the support of others, we can overcome the grip of sin. One of the key aspects of breaking free from sinful habits is to replace them with good habits. We must be patient with ourselves recognizing that breaking free from sinful habits is a process that takes time and effort. We will likely encounter setbacks and temptations along the way, but it is important to stay focused and persevere. With God's help, we can overcome any obstacle and live a life that is pleasing to Him. 5. Lying Lying is often seen as a small sin, something that does not do any harm. But in reality, it is one of the most abominable sins before God. The devil, who is described as the father of lies, uses lying to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus told us that anyone who lies belongs to the devil and that God hates a lying tongue. In fact, the book of Revelation points out that all liars will have their part in the lake of fire, along with other sins like cowardice, unbelief, murder, sexual immorality, idolatry, and magic arts. It is important to walk in truth and to worship God in spirit and in truth in order to please Him. However, some people become unyielding to correction and think they have outgrown the Word of God. They ignore passages that correct their errors and harden their hearts. This is a result of pride and stubbornness. 
and such individuals are being won by the devil. Type, Amen, if you truly believe in the Lord.